Hey everyone, Lensman Oz and Chilled back here for some satisfactory. Um, thank you for building ramps. Yep, I'm working on it. Clipping through pretty I can, well. But I don't, I don't care about clipping. <laughs> well, it's not one to line up right. Uh, that's all part of the fun, right? Um, I'm going to hit the button on hypertubes. All right. There you go. Hit the button. It's on its way. Milestone reached. Fixit Incorporated has processed and incorporated frequent pioneer requests for pipe-based personal transport. Introducing Hypertubes. Safe, aesthetic, adaptable, fun. Enjoy a view of your hard work as you soar through incredibly tight turns. Build them today. Note, Fixit Incorporated is not responsible for any harm caused by irresponsible use of this product. Nice. Pipes. <laughs> All right, so I did mention it last episode. Um, uh, talking about you were talking about things to eat, and I mentioned that there is a mod for farming. So I have added the mod. It's called Fix It Farming. Uh, it does add some unlocks, which obviously now that we've sent that on its way, we'll be able to select the next one. Uh, but it, it let me just go back to select. It's got stuff down as far as like tier two. Uh, and on tier zero, it's got some Patreon-based stuff, but I mean, we may just hand it in to clear up the zone, but um, tier two here, we've got basic farmer buildings and then basic farmer crops. So we'll need to collect up some materials to send this in, but this jar of dirt, so out in the world, there are now uh, dirt uh, placements. So like in, in you know resource patches, I did find a patch over near where we're making steel because Child and I went over there and dropped a uh, upgrade shard thing in the steel production. So we've gone from what was it 45 a minute to like 60 something a minute. Uh, they, yeah, something like that. So just to try and get enough steel for the the thing we just implemented because it was taking a while. Um, I did turn off the pipes too, so we probably need to re-enable the pipes. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll just run over and do that. But we're going to select a, a, another, even though I don't really need pipes, things, things aren't, aren't quite runner. Pipes will be useful. And I don't have, uh, what do we need? We need wire AV. Because I didn't set this up to be auto-crafted. Probably wouldn't hurt. I don't know what the automated wiring's used for later. Probably all sorts of stuff. Maybe it would be wise to bring copper wire down to here. But this should be going again. On. It has no power. Why does it have no power? Did you disconnect power? Um, which one? Um, one you disconnected. Well, I, mean, where... <laughs> I don't reckon I've disconnected any power. Well, one of them was gone. This this power cable was gone for some reason. Still good. Okay. I think it's. I think it's working again. Anyway, the other mod I did consider is one uh, called Daisy Chaining, where I think you can run cables between machines. I think that'd be cool. Instead of having everything go back to a post, you can actually go machine to machine to post. That'd be nice. Right, so uh, got to wait six minutes before our pod comes back, but let's go and hit the button and work out what it is. Uh, so tier two, basic farmer, we're going to need cable, wire, rods, and reinforced iron plates. So let's go and grab all those materials. And hopefully by the time I've got all that, the dropship will be back. A bit of wire here. Should have a bit of cable down here too. Uh, the reinforced plates. Let me sort my inventory would probably be smart. Let me 
you're making reinforced planks, you are using them. I'm going to take that 100. And then I'm going to try and find... Even though I boosted the rods, it's still going through them super quick. I have yeah, some rods, so... thanks. What's that? Yeah, I noticed that with the rods. Yeah, I boosted up two of the machines and it's still... I don't like us. Oh, I love in the walkway. It's much better, isn't it? No more bouncing over everything. I think... Oh, I'm missing... I'm missing 50 rods. Hopefully... We can find it 50 rods somewhere. Nine on me. I'll steal a out of a machine. If I had the room to put them. Um, let's get rid of this material. Whichever one of these is leaves and... Leaves are on the left. It's on the right. Leaves in there and then wood in here. Good. Yeah, I just had no room left in my inventory. Mm hmm. Patterns. Grab rods. Okay. Should have enough. So in the three odd minutes, it should come back. So. Ideally, the, the long and short, the idea behind the only downside of this platform is I can't run through it. Um, so the, the idea behind the, the mod here is that we should be able to have different levels of farming. So obviously basic stuff and then uh, tier 3 unlocks some more stuff. Uh, so we'll, we'll work through and see what it is that we need. Apprentice farmer crops. So you got different stuff here. Bananas and apples and cotton and pumpkins, apparently. So some of these are a little bit weird, but the main thing for me is I'm just looking at trying to get some sort of food. And then we have the rancher. So we've got the ability to pick up doggos and keep them in a uh, in a house where you've got to feed them and uh, you'll get resources from them. Then there's a cooking hub. So we'll, we'll have like chains of food production. Uh, biomass brand of the vehicles. Okay. So apparently we unlock biomass on this one as well, which is odd. But yeah, we'll, we'll work through working out what each piece needs. Select this one. As soon as it comes back, we'll be able to, I'll be able to dump all the materials in, and we will be able to make some basic farming. I don't know where you want to do this. Probably maybe down on the flats or something. Um, yeah, wherever seems to be kind of out of the way. I'll um. If you want to do it up on top of the hill where we're not going to be building. I mean, that would work too. Oh, uh, as long as we don't need water. I mean, I don't know what's going to be up with that. Well, we'll find out once we uh, once we put it in, I guess. So I'm going to put a cut in, and we'll hand this one in when we come back. Righty, we're back. That was that was quick. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> these things come in real quick. We were just we were just discussing it off camera and how fast this uh, drop pod comes back into the atmosphere. Like. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Uh, let I'm surprised me see. it doesn't have a contrail coming from behind it, you know? Oh, maybe that was just something they didn't program in. I'm going to launch it again, though. Whoop! Whee! Right. There's no Ada speaking with this one because obviously it's a mod. Okay. So we have just unlocked basic farming. So let's have a look at where it's hiding in our... Down the bottom. Fix it Fix farming. It farm. So we have a farming platform mark one. Farming platform mark one can house one farming plot. All variants. With the restriction of no fluid inputs on this platform. 
only the crop plot and flower plot will work on this platform. Okay, the crop plot costs some dirt, which I've already got, and some reinforced plates, so I've got both of them. So if I just pick up a little bit, oh no, I can build this now, I think. Um, it's fairly large too, look at it. Let's just run out here behind the biomass stuff. <coughs> and we'll pop him down. Wow, it's actually quite large. Mm, very big, isn't it? We'll just build this for, for investigation. And we'll decide where to put it later. So this is basic farmer. Farming platform mark one. Uh, let me build... The crop plot, I think, would be the best. So if you want to hop out of there. Okay. So crop plot is done. So it just says crops. I guess we're going to have to find... I think we got to unlock the crops in the next one. Potentially, yeah. I saw seeds and everything in the next one. You think you'd you'd get them by default? You'd think so, but <laughs> I love I love how the uh, the GUI for it it's upside down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. All right, so I guess we uh, need some seeds. Need some seeds. You've just selected that. We're probably going to need some more dirt, right? I've got, oh, I've got I've got the dirt on me. I can put the dirt in. And just more frickin' rods. Drop it back already. That was quick. Um, whoop, whoop. yeah, just a few more rods, and then we'll have it have it made. Oh, Forty-two odd. In any of these chests, I assume. No, I'm having to pick them up off this belt. <laughs> oh, I steal them out of machines when I do it. I mean, I could probably make some. Oh, I can make one. There you go. I got them. <laughs> make one. <laughs> I made. I made one. I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so this obviously will unlock some crops. It's a two minute return. Nice quick one. Okay, so that unlocked... Seeds and such. It's carrot seeds, potato, wheat, and flour. Flowers. All right. So, how do we get them? How does that work? Do we need to scan for them? That's not the button I want. That's not the button I want either. The dirt. There's a few patches of dirt around. Alright, so... Do we just select it, or do we need to actually pick up? For, um, looks like buckets of dirt in the crafting bench. Okay. I have some dirt on me, otherwise we'll need to go and grab some. I did put a manual miner, one, one of those little single dirt miner things yeah. on the dirt patch. But let's let's have a look. I've got a little bit of dirt on me. Um, what do you want to do? Yeah, I can make... Carrots, make, potatoes, really, whichever. Make five. How many do you think it takes? I believe it said 15. Alright, I'm going to craft five carrots, and then I'm going to need to go and find some dirt. You just run over and put them in and see what happens. Yeah, 15.
You got it on potato, do you? I made carrot. Yeah. Well, just because that's what I wanted. Well, I mean, we can change it. <laughs> just changed it. I guess it doesn't work like this. Okay. You have to put it in the base. You got to put it in the, the bottom. Oh, down here? Okay. Okay, so it's actually, we're going to have to craft this. We're going to need to bring dirt in. I think. Right, let's let's go and find that dirt. It's over this way. And bring it in on a belt. Nearest one is... Nearest one. <laughs> Do I scan the right stuff? Is hundred and four hundred and twenty meters. No, hundred and eighty. Hundred and it's up on this hill or just the other side of this hill. Eighty meters. No, it's just up on here. We can build a oh. a mine here. <laughs> Not showing me that on my ping. It's a miner. Alright, just need to get belts and power, I guess. And I need rods, and I can't run belts. But, um... I think I just used my last mining thing. Yep. Okay, <laughs> it's got power now. <laughs> Making 120 dirt per minute. Wow, that's fast. Alright, so then we're going to need to run it through an assembler, I assume. Guessing? Constructor. Let's just, let's just for giggles, set one up and try it. Okay. Can I do this? No. There's no recipe in this for it. It's alright. Had to test it. So, we'll probably... Maybe it is just a manual craft at this level. Just need to bring dirt down in a... Don't know. Seed extractor. Insert dirt, leaves, and any other natural biomass product to get turned into seeds. There you go. So we need the next tier. And that allows us to um, auto auto make it from the dirt. So we'll need to select this milestone. And then we're going to need some carrots anyway. But uh, this will be our next item we need to get moving. <laughs> My truck in the way. I got it. <laughs> right, so yeah. Bring a dirt over. And then we'll craft it into something else. Is he bringing dirt over, or is it? Oh yeah, there it is. I say, couldn't even see where it was coming from. Just taking it a while. So this thing needs dirt put in it. No, I think it's next next level that we've got running. Maybe. I think it takes seeds into it. But see, it's also talking about biomass.
just an output. Okay, so input and output, input, I'm assuming is just like the seeds. So let's make the other mm -hmm. 10 odd seeds that we need for carrots. We need like 50 dirt. Take me a moment. <laughs> And then we're going to need 500 dirt just for this next level. Oh, uh, going to drop a, a storage container I get down, I guess. I've got the material for it. Probably, maybe do. Nope. Need rods and plates. Need everything. <laughs> need about 50, right? Well, you're grabbing the rods and plates. Parrots. I need five. I need. How many need rods it. do you need? Nothing now. <laughs> Oh. But um, my derp, I needed an, I needed a hundred, um, hundred derp. I need another fifty now. Got five. <laughs> it's ten per seed. Um. Where are we at on our time? Oh, we got heaps of time left. This, this needs power too. It'd be handy. Someone's got power. I don't know what else this needs. It's odd. Yeah, I know it's weird. <laughs> the joys of mods, right? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Giving it a go. What's the worst that happens? We decide to just leave it alone. Let me make the last couple of seeds and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so that should be the last five. Okay. Uh, reinforced place. Okay. Yeah. It's 24 apparently. Did that change? That's where it was 15. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, we're back. We got enough in here. It's about to produce something. Okay, so we put 24 carrot seeds in. We got 24 carrots. Um. Don't know how to remove them though. <laughs> it's made 24 carrots. It takes like two minutes for it to happen. Do we need to, like, it's not in the output of the planter thing underneath and I don't see any way of extracting it, which is odd. Unless we need to hook up a, um, a belt coming output, out. Well. I don't have enough to make anything. I really don't have enough to make anything. No materials on me. Just to see. Yeah, like it again. Don't, don't get me wrong. It's it's a cool idea, but how does it work? Can't. Oh, I can drag them out. I have twenty-four carrots. That's, yeah, okay. So we need 100 for the next level. I just clicked and dragged it out. Um, I don't think you can turn these into anything else other than carrots. All right, so it's going to take a bit of dirt. So we'll get some dirt going and produce some carrots, because, as I said, we need 100. 
Gonna take another couple of crafts. We're also gonna need like 500 dirt just for the the next level, and then hopefully we get a um a machine we can like maybe upgrade this guy to something that's a bit quicker. So bear with us, and we will be back. All right. Well, I think we have all the materials for this next unlock. Child went and found another dirt patch out over that way and brought it up. So we've got a lot more dirt coming in. So that will help. Let's add these couple of things. You can have this and this and this and that. And hit the button. Right. Apprentice Farmer Yay. Buildings. Awesome. So that will unlock um, platform number two, which has four farming plots. The irrigation module needs to be placed on a farming plot, so you actually put that on top. The seed extractor, so we can feed the dirt that we're bringing over into this machine and it will output uh, seeds, pretty much. Um, uh, the it, seed extractor? Yeah, it's random. Yeah, insert dirt leaves and any other natural biomass. Yep, and then it comes out with whatever. And then we've got a tree plot as well, so we can make trees. So, I don't know if you've got the materials to build that uh, that seed extractor. I've almost got it all. But that would be a nice little thing, but we'll have to put the Mark II down because that'll be huge. Well, that thing's massive. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> That's huge. I need to move that storage container. Uh, I don't have the all the materials. But that's uh, an impressive large machine. Oh, this this can go too, I think. Um, we'll have to set up an area for it. So, I mean, you can pop that in wherever you want for the dirt, and then I think the farming will end up being out here. Mm -hmm. But we'll get enough for a, a Platform 2, because Platform 2 is... Kind of large as well. We will need water. Mm hmm. Huge, look at it. Okay. Wow, that okay. is big. <laughs> it holds four crop plantation areas. So maybe we'll, we'll find a better area for this and um, pipe stuff over there instead. We'll see what happens. I mean, obviously, we've still got the water under here, but I think we've built the floor over it now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kind of, sort of. It's all right. We'll find something. All right. Anyway, that's a good place to wrap up. So again, we've we've added another mod. You know, something a little different. Hopefully, we can get some food that allows us. Actually, I don't even know what um, how good carrots are. I don't know either. So let's see. I've got some carrots still on me. Um. It does. Hardly anything. <laughs> like it, it doesn't even show it moving. So it doesn't even, it isn't even compar comparable to a barrel nut. Nope. Oh wow. Yeah, like I guess that means. I guess that's why they they have so much involved in processing it into something else. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming we can cook it later into food. But um, wow, those carrots are terrible. Anyway. We'll, we'll get there, we'll work out what we need. But uh, we'll have to expand and get some water here. Maybe we can just run a pump. I don't know. We'll work something out. Anyway, until next time, thank you all for watching. You did bring that dirt from a long way away, didn't you? Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks everyone for watching. Comments down below. And we will see you next time. Oh, I missed him. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> see you.